I wanted to talk Eddie Hearn's Liverpool, so I got sent an email about it and just briefly wanted to put a few thoughts down. Um, for those who don't know, the, the card features four main fights as far as I can make out. The return of David Price to UK soil against the yet unnamed opponent, possibly Erkan Tepper, the undefeated German heavyweight for the European title. Tony Bellew in a cruiserweight matchup against a sort of journeyman type opponent whose name I've forgotten. Callum Smith versus Rebras. Rocky Fielding versus um, Brian Vera. It's a good card. It is a good card for a Sky Saturday night, fight night, you know, no pay-per-view. Um, there are some bigger Jacksons. I mean, David Price, he's a guy who I feel is somewhat overrated, but it's always going to be entertaining because of his size and power, you know, and the danger factor he brings to the ring with his questionable chin. You know, if he goes in against Erkan Tepper, big, undefeated heavyweight, known for being a power puncher, that's an entertaining matchup. You know, Rocky Fielding, he's an exciting talent. In my opinion, Rocky Fielding is one of the most underrated fighters out there. Um, against Brian Vera, I mean, that's an interesting fight. That's a tight fight. Could go either way. You'd edge to Fielding. You'd think Fielding's the bigger man. Fielding's the guy with the greater upside. But that's an interesting fight. Callum Smith versus Rebras, that's another interesting fight, you know. Obviously Callum Smith, huge favourite to win, but Rebras is very tough, very durable. And I think he may show that Callum Smith is uh, slightly overhyped, you know, certainly in terms of the power stakes. Uh, I've actually got a bet with somebody who comments on my videos, uh, you know, we're having a, a tenor on whether Callum, this guy thinks Callum Smith is going to get him out of there within six rounds. Um... There's no way on God's earth Callum Smith is getting a brass out of in six rounds. That's the safest tenor I've ever bet, I'll tell you that much. Um, and then you've got Tony Bellew, who regular subscribers will know I'm not a fan of. You know. Tony Bellew, so, so limited. You know. Domestic level fighter. But somehow has kind of talked his way to being an attraction and is certainly a big name in Liverpool. Um, yeah, and Tony Bellew, it sounds like he's in a pretty terrible fight. He's not an entertaining fighter in my eyes. Um, he's not got much upside, but I have to give it to Eddie Hearn. He is a name. He is being in Liverpool, and to have him on the bill does add a bit of star power. So, it's a good bill. It's a good bill. You know, I've been critical of Eddie Hearn in the past. I've talked some of his bills up, talked some of his bills down, and I think in the interest of being even-handed, I wanted to sort of give this one a, a bit of a shout-out. Um... Let's hope David Price Erkan Tepper is made. I don't want it to get close to fight night and that one still to be announced and then we find out that David Price is fighting, you know, some journeyman nobody's ever heard of. Um but Brian Vera, Rocky Fielding, that could be the strap of the night. Looking forward to that one. And my early thoughts are uh we'll see a good performance from Rocky Fielding. We'll see Callum Smith not look like the superstar he's being made out to be. We'll probably see Bellew uh, KO someone and uh, David Price. I think a good performance will put him ahead of Dillian White for an Anthony Joshua pay-per-view fight later on in the year. Let me know your thoughts on this, Bill. People are very critical of Eddie Hearn typically in the online boxing community. Do you give him credit for making this, Bill? Or do you have an issue with it? Thanks for watching.